Hey guys, this is Shubham. I have created this YouTube channel to help PLSI professionals, specifically AMS engineers. Uh, AMS stands for Analog and Mixed Signal. In this channel, we'll try to cover mixed signal design verification, modeling of different analog blocks using Verilog A, System Verilog RNN, and Verilog AMS. So all these things will cover. Uh, with the help of smash tool so smash tool is a uh, mixed signal design verification tool or or aapko ye pata hoga ki uh, ki youtube mein if you search video for verilog ams then aapko bahut sare videos milenge jahan pe they are using cadence tool cadence tool is a industrial tool uh, used by different chip makers like intel qualcomm mediatek or other companies texas instrument so so this tool is very costly you can't able to get the license right so i'll recommend you to use smash tool mai ek separate video banaunga jahan pe i'll help you guys to install this smash tool okay so specifically in this series i'll be covering verilog ams or let's start with the coding Uh, okay, so I'll create a new folder. Let's. Uh, so I'm just gonna name it as Verilog AMS Tutorial. Okay. So I'll open a text editor. Uh, is known as GVIM. You can use anything like Notepad Plus Plus. Up to you can use it. So now we're gonna register the model create it. register is a analog uh component so is register by extension rega register.vam so vam is is for verilog ams file extension uh, as we know like for c++ we use .cpp or verilog ke liye .v so we can use .vam for register now uh, let's create a module for this register but first Uh, I want to tell you one thing. यहाँ पे हमको और एक फाइल चाहिए. That is discipline. dot vams for Verilog AMS. I'll tell you more about it. Okay. So this uh, file has uh, analog primitives. Okay. So analog primitives consisting of uh, analog. Then. or idt ddt uh, these are all analog operators uh, and to check some values you can use cross then avoc so these are all functions which you can use we have also voltage and current checking functions v and i so you can check current for a branch or voltage across two nodes uh, this you can do with v function okay so uh, we have also transient filter tran uh, filter uh, this function se aap log uh, port ko smoothen kar sakte ho or uh, you can create some ramp with this function trta lot of parameters are there uh, we'll discuss more about it later okay so let's start with our module so module res uh, so this is a remote from module res i can have I N one, I N two. These are the two ports for this module. So register kya hai? Uh, normal analog component hai. This ke two sides hote. Uh, let's say, let's say component which has two terminal. So you can use either of this terminal as an input or output. So that is fine. Uh, so you can have this inputs as in out, and I can describe it as I N one and I N two. Okay. Okay. so this two ports we have to describe the nature of this two ports that we can we have to describe it as electrical so why i am using electrical because so uh, see uh resistor is an analog component so this component ka jo nature hoga signal nature hoga wo analog hai jo log verilog use karte hai aap logo ko pata hai ki whenever we are not defining 
the nature of any port by default wo where leta hai where normally ek uh, digital domain ka port hai where reads all these things but electrical is it has electrical uh, sorry analog nature so uh, you can drive analog values uh, in this ports fine so to describe the register functionality we can use ohms law equation like p equal to ir or we can use i equal to uir right so this we can use actually to or describe the characteristic of this register so for this we can have analog begin end so analog block or uh, it's uh, actually a analog engine for verilog ams analog engine for verilog ams so those who know about uh, those who know about verilog uh, you people know about verilog supports like all this or uh, initial this procedural blocks you can use this all this uh, always initially you can also use it in verilog ams because verilog ams is a superset fine verilog ams is superset for both verilog plus verilog a so whatever functions are available in verilog you can use it in verilog ams but here we are describing the analog nature so we will use analog and so now so v so we will try to do it with our first equation v equal to i so v potential difference between two terminals i n1 and i n2 of this register so this is a contributing operator v equal to i r so i i is a current between current flowing through this branch so branch is uh, the resistance which is in between i n1 and i n2 uh, to uh, resistance uh, okay. we can parameterize this resistance right so parameter r real r equal to 1 k so this uh, uh, 1 kilo ohm resistance uh, we have defined it over here. You can change it. You can change it. When you have this module can instantiate it, that time you can redefine the parameter, right? You can override it with hash operator. So that's fine. So, so this is this is it. So and one more thing I want to let you know. So in Verilog we know we have. Comment very log. We have uh, contributing operator. Oh, sorry, uh, we have blocking operator like this one. We have non blocking operator like this one, right? Similarly, in very log uh, AMS, we have additional operator. Very log AMS. We have additional operator this one. So, sorry. Very low game is to have this one. Okay, so this is actually a contributing operator which we have to use inside analog beginning. Okay, so okay, so let's end this module. Now, what we'll do? We'll create a register network. We'll try to create a register network. Then we'll create a test bench for this. So in this register network, we have we can have some again input IN, some output. Out out we can use this out. So this input you can make it as input IN and this output can use put out. both of these uh, ports are electrical electrical 
out. Okay. So now we'll try to instantiate this register. So res R1 we have IN1 comma out. Similarly in we can reinstall we can instantiate another component another register r2 out change okay now see i have connected this to resistance in series how like i1 is a input for resistance one and out is common for both r1 and r2 so so and the ground which i have created okay let me show you let me redefine this ground as as gnd okay and we can hard code hard ground this with this syntax gnd ground gnd so you can see this is analog primitive for very log a so that's why the color has changed okay so so you can end this module like this everything is completed okay so now we can create a test bench for this fine so this is my reg module or uh, rest module and i have instantiated this module two times with r1 and r2 instances fine so this uh, both of this resistance both of this resistor has a resistance one kilo ohm sorry So if you connect both as series and you tap the output from the middle, obviously you will be getting half of the voltage which you are driving. So let's check the scenario. Uh, so we'll create a test bench for this. Okay. So from GPM I can use vertical split and create test bench TV dot V. The same file as it's a VMS file. I'll use. I'll copy this thing include dot vms file. Fine. Uh, then I'll create a module tp and module inside this I can have oh, this register network. Rest network register network uh, GUT. I am one comma out electrical. You can define this. So we are connecting this uh, electrical variables with the uh, ports of duty. Okay. So what else? What else we should do? Have you have looked at it again? Drive pairing it or which name? So drive pairing a certain stimulus. Say. Okay, so we will use analog block. I will show you the technique of how we can use it in other ways. We can also use a real number to drive this, but first, oh, sorry, analog. Let's make it simple. We can directly drive it in particular context. So, we, so this is not for, I will directly drive it in IN1 port with some voltage, some 5 volt. So I have to use contributing operator. So directly five volt uh, will be driven to will be driven in this node IN1 directly. Or uh, okay, let's see. One more thing. Uh, as I have created this stress network, so if you want to see it in pictorial view and schematic, you can see this will be like this. I am I will be driving it from IN1 and I'll tap the output from the middle of this two resistance. So this is the IN2 or you can say just like output okay and this is sorry okay so this is the one oh, okay we have used out right that is fine just to show you I guess everything is fine. Let's see whether there is any syntax error or not. Before that, we have to create a circuit file. Circuit file. Okay. 
equal to vs dot c okay so let, let me just stop we'll add the we add the files so all the things are in the same folder so we can directly add these files so first file i'll be adding the model file that is register.ps which you have just created then we'll add the test branch file tb dot that's what i have to write tb dot fine we can elaborate uh elaborate work dot fine fine let's try to simulate this Okay, that's great. We didn't get any syntax error. So these are the two instances uh, which I have created. This is the register network, right? Circuit file with this one. Oh, actually, there is just a mistake. I the spelling was not correct. E L E I used. That's why they can ask me for uh, to select the top model. That is fine. So now we can simulate it. So the elaboration has completed. Uh, we can go for simulation transit analysis. We will do run add traces. So we'll add this two traces, right? We can we simulate it and run. So you see, I have driven five volt and I am getting my desired output right because I am driving five volt and because the resistance are of same value that's why I am giving I am getting half of the voltage which I am driving right at this. So that's for uh, this simulation. In part two, I'll be showing you a much more uh, detailed way how to do uh, how to drive values with real numbers and all. Uh, okay, thanks.